Those of us that love Grey's Anatomy have seen the episode where they do brain surgery while the patient is awake. Remember the guy who was playing the guitar during the surgery? But it is not just on the show. It is really happening. It is becoming more widespread because doctors can monitor brain function while they operate and reduce risks. Dr. Bernard Bendock is here to tell us more about this innovative procedure. Doctor, thank you so much for being with us. It's my pleasure, Tina. Thank you for having me. Well, Doctor, like I said, I I've watched Grey's Anatomy. I'm a huge fan, and I've seen the episode with this, but I wasn't really sure if this is something that real doctors do, if it's just something we see on TV. How does this procedure actually work? You know, even though it's called awake surgery, it's important to point out that the patients are asleep and sedated during the incision, during the painful part. We block the nerves of the head to, reduce, to eliminate or reduce pain. And then during that delicate part of the procedure where we're trying to map what is most important to that patient, when we're trying to individualize the operation, let's say somebody's an opera singer, we want to understand their singing ability, and we're trying to, to, to get to the tumor in a way that doesn't affect that function, that's where we have to stimulate the brain and test that function. That's when we have the patient awake, and then we put them back to sleep when we're closing. So it really winds up being a very pleasant or a relatively pleasant experience. We play their favorite music during that part. They usually have people they know in the OR, like a neurologist who knows them, examining them. So uh, it allows us to become more precise about the operation and get a great outcome. That's really the goal of this. Well, this is absolutely fascinating. Now, do we know who is maybe a better candidate for this type of a procedure? You know, any time where you're operating on a brain tumor or a vascular malformation and you're worried about the location of the tumor being in an important center of the brain and you want to test that function before you manipulate that tissue or remove some tissue, that is really the best uh, candidate for this operation. Uh, and, we're, and we're at the Mayo Clinic expanding these indications. We are doing research on ways to optimize the procedure, make it more comfortable, make it more pleasant, and test new functions that are important to patients. And we've recently put together some work on using it for Moya Moya disease, which is a vessel disease of the brain, vascular malformations, and other uh, types of seizure, uh, seizure diseases that cause seizures where this operation can make a difference. Well, I'm, it's good to know that this uh, innovation is actually going to be moving forward to help help other people. And I know, you know, like we were saying, this is used for people that may have brain tumors right now, but they, of course, want to keep those functions, like you said, maybe a singer or like on the show, somebody was a, a musician. So the, the function is that you want to be able to keep all of that once, the, you know, you're done with the operation. But as far as the patient, do they remember that once the, the, the operation is done? Uh, to varying degrees, uh, the, we, we don't want them to remember the incision and the closure, so you, usually they're quite sedated during that part. Uh, some of them do remember playing the piano and talking to, uh, to us and the team, so that part they sometimes remember. So we, we really go out of our way to make it as pleasant as possible. Uh, usually they have a doctor they know sitting right next to them who's not the surgeon. There's a nurse in the OR who's attentive to their needs, and we always have them pick their favorite music or they could even watch uh, a movie on iPad, for example, uh, during that part. Uh, and, and we interact with them in a way uh, that allows us to make sure that we don't affect function in a way that could be harmful to them and their outcome. Doctor, I absolutely think this is just so interesting. If we want to get some more information on this or see where this is definitely going to be going advanced-wise, where can we get that? Uh, you know, the Mayo website is the best uh, resource on this, and uh, there's a lot more information and some video clips on this operation if patients want to learn more. Thank you so much, Doctor, for joining me this morning to give us an update on this. It's, it's, it's my pleasure. Thank you very much for having me. Don't go anywhere. The Morning Blend, we'll be right back.